And IP's Tina Shively has been tracking this situation and the developments from the newsroom. She joins us now. Tina? Well, Terry, back to that deadly shooting. The city of Charlotte now claiming that it involved two civilians that police were not involved in that person that died there tonight. Now, the city's EMS service went further. They tweeted that three people were involved. One had a life threatening gunshot wound and later died. The other two involved in that shooting had non life threatening injuries. So far tonight, seven police officers have been taken to area hospitals. Those protests first turned violent last night, and this all happening after police shot and killed 43-year-old Keith Lamont Scott. The Charlotte police say that Scott posed a threat to officers when he got out of his car armed with a gun and that he did not follow commands. Protesters and his family tonight disagreeing with that. They say he did not have a gun. Now, as you mentioned earlier, Terry, police are now warning everyone to disperse, including the media, or they say they will make arrests. Obviously, a very dangerous situation. We will keep on top of this for you throughout our newscast and also on our website. KVU.com. Back to you. Yeah, tough to see that scene unfolding. Tina, thank you.